Hello everybody. Welcome back. So I know that it's been a little bit of a minute again. Um, I haven't... I've been working, so... I didn't have a choice but to go back to work. But I know I have my screen a little bit big, and that's kind of intentional. Because for um, this video, because um, I said I was going to do it once before, and I never really got around to doing it. So I figured uh, now would kind of be uh, the perfect time to do it. And I think another video I would like to do sometime in the future is a gameplay mods video um, because I play with a lot of a lot of different mods and some that I feel like it just makes the game uh, so much better. Hopefully this can be seen really well. I'll read it as I go. But I kind of wanted to go through my, my settings for MC Command Center. And I know there's a lot of videos kind of out there, but I kind of wanted to show my personal settings that I play with all the time. And the biggest thing that I use this mod for is to keep my uh, town populated with the uh, current townies that are already in the game. So, I'm not going to go through all of them because I, some of them I don't even use. Um, I don't know what some of them do. Um, but I will start with the biggest one that I, that I use it for, and then I'll go into everything else. So that way if it's not something you you care about. At least you got the population part. The, so, uh, the way, what I like to do is I like to keep the town populated with my subs, you know, that are in my gallery. Uh, not EA townies. <laughs> they never come out looking good. So, under MC population, you go to populating settings, and right here, import tray settings and import tray percent. I put that at 100 percent so that way when new townies come in they're my sims and sometimes I will download sometimes I'll download sims off the gallery just so that way I could have like a ton of sims in my gallery and that's what it will populate so I always have that at 100%. And under populating settings also, you can have it like, like percent for baby, I have it at zero. Toddler, I have it at zero. Child, I have it at zero. Now for adults, I have it, I have it at the default setting. Um, you can put it higher if you want. But I have like elder zero that's just going to be the percent of um what they come in as like i don't want i don't want the game populating my sims uh, as elders because i don't want them to be just imported into my game and then die in 10 days you know so i only have a set for adults to be imported adults and young adults i think that they kind of Teens too. I think it's categorized as teen, adult, and young adult, all in one. Because it doesn't have, they're not listed here. So I think they have adult listed as all three of those. Under the pregnancy settings, I go to pregnant sim selection and married only pregnancies. That's just my personal preference. Because if you don't have that, then they're going to have, like they're going to have random pregnancies 
with random sims, I like to keep them as households. So that way, you know, like I don't have, I don't allow pregnancy, like homeless pregnancies. Um, but I just do the married only uh, pregnancies. Then right over, the, un, right underneath it, you have pregnancy percentage. Uh, teens I have at zero because I don't really care about the the teen pregnancies. Not that I'm against it, um, but it's it, it's it's buggy because they're not meant to be pregnant. So I just have it at zero. Um, well, elders can't can't get pregnant. So young adults I have it set for ten percent. And adults are ten percent. Also, that means it's a ten percent chance that my married couples in the game anywhere um, will get pregnant and start their families. And uh, oops, but I keep it at ten percent because I think that's a good balance where it's not like. Because you don't want to, I don't want to overpopulate my world, so. Because I had it at even like 20% felt like it was really high, like, they were constantly having kids. And I mean, put it, I mean, if, the, if you want like a lot of kids, you know, bump it up. <laughs> you know, and that way you'll always have kids, you know. For like, if your family is, if your family have kids, you'll always have kids for them too. Me, that's just my personal preference. I like it at 10% for me. <laughs> and then, uh, same thing under pregnancy. I go for the offspring. Um, maximum offspring. I, I have it set. I still keep it at the default. The default is three. That's just the amount of kids that your townies will have, you know. Like, if you have a set to four, then I'll have up to four kids. Doesn't mean they'll have them all, but... Because I, I only have a set at a 10% chance, so... It doesn't mean they'll have them all, but that's the max that they'll have. Um, under... Let's see, where is it? Under other pregnancy? I don't really use anything here. Um, but you do have the ability to allow pregnancy aging, so that way your sim doesn't stop aging just because they're pregnant. Which, I kind of like that sometimes, like... I liked that when I was doing the 100 baby challenge, even though... I don't, I'm not doing that one anymore, but at the moment. Um, because I felt like that when my sim was not aging, then it just took a long time to get through her generation. Um, she was always pregnant, so she was never aging. <laughs> it just felt like it was taking a long time. And that's just for me, though. I'm trying really hard not to miss anything that might be important. Um, like, I don't use this here, but you can, like, allow, uh, you know, a fair percentage to, you know, like, other sims will oh, cheat on, on other sims. I, I don't really care too much about what's going on with the town. I just like to keep it populated. Um, let's see what else is there. Okay, MC, MCCC settings. This is where I adjust my age span. Because under the under EA's default, I feel like long is too long and short, and normal is too short. So I'm not going to change it now, um, just because it's going to make me restart the game. But you can, like, you can go to human, you can set them individually. Like the baby I kept as the default two days. Toddler's a normal seven, but like the young adult, I bumped it up a few more days for, like, legacies. Like, I don't want it too long, but I don't want it too short, either. 
So I set that to uh, 30 days. And once you hit OK, you know, set them all first to what you want. And then when you're done, then restart the game because you're going to reset them, restart um, every time you choose one. So I set them all first and then I restart my game. Okay, and then for my gameplay settings, um, you, I think this is automatic to adopt. No, it's not. Okay. Um, usually I have this enabled. I think I don't know why my uh, mine is disabled, but you can enable it, and then townies will adopt uh, neglected kids. Okay, under money settings. This is one that I play around with sometimes, like, um, here you have pay child support. Um, I have it for, un I have it set for unmarried only. Um, so if my son were to have, like, a baby with somebody that they never married, and nor are they living with, um, she will get child support from the father of the baby. Or... If it's, or that the baby is living somewhere with the other parent and not with your son, your son will have to pay uh, child support. I mean, I like it because it's like extra, extra money to pay because I feel like the, I like to up the things, the amount of stuff that things cost because um, I feel like the further you get into the legacies or the longer you've been playing, when you just come so quickly and you end up with so much money and then I get bored. I get bored when there's nothing left to work for. So I usually have the child support enabled even though I'd say nine times out of ten my couples are always together anyway, so but for instance, if they're not, then you have that child support option, which I like. Um here you can change, you can change like the percent of your bills. Like right now it's at the, the default. You know, like if you feel like you got a lot of money and you have nothing to do with it, you can, you can change how much you pay <laughs> for uh, your utilities. And this one's for apartments. And then you can set it for auto, auto pay bills. If you're like me and forget to pay your bills, <laughs> I do that. Okay, so here you can allow like, just say you're like playing with like, you know, like you have a teen pregnancy. Um, you can allow teen parenting because without this enabled, uh, teens don't have the ability to, um, parent kids and toddlers and stuff, but with this you can enable it. I have mine enabled so that way like my kids can help out and stuff. Okay, breakup settings here. This is where like if you want a chance of your townies breaking up and ending up with somebody else, you can change you can put the percent here. I have mine all at zero because I just don't want my townies all over the place. I want them to have their families and keep their legacies going. Um, because I don't really focus too much on the townies. Like I said, I just like to keep it populated. But this is where you can change it, you know, if you want that to go on in your town. And spouse relationship change percent. Um, if I were to use it, I would probably put it at like maybe a five percent because if you put it at like 10 or 20 you're, you're gonna be breaking up all the time and remarrying just to add up and here uh break up move out sim so if they do break out break, if they do break up <laughs> um the sim one of the sims will move out on their own i think it's kind of random you can choose where it to be oh Okay, so I guess it's already defaulted to, like, I guess it moves out the mail automatically. Um, you can have it to move out a random sim. Like, it'll either move out the female or it'll move out the male. 
um, none of my stuff, none of my townies break up anyways right now. Um, because I don't have it set to at the moment, which I might later, I don't know. <laughs> uh, move children with breakup. Okay, so I, I had it set to 10%, I don't, my, my, my settings are a little screwed up because I was changing so many. Um, because I was trying to get, a, like, a little happy medium because my sons were having, well, not my sons, but my towns were, like, having kids all over the place and I couldn't keep up with who was who. Um, but, uh, if you set it, you know, it'll move the kids out, too, I think. Um, with the parent that it moves out. So. And then you can, you can have, like, friendship decay. Um, from romantic decay, because, like, I know with the yay, like, nothing really, nothing really decays. Everything just kind of stays. The same. Okay, let's see what else is there that I might use. I use uh, MC Tuner and change interaction behavior. And this is where you can like change stuff like allow teens to move it. I, I use that a lot. Um, I always have that. Yeah, mine's enabled. Oops. Oh, now I gotta restart my game eventually. Okay, well, I'll do that later, anyways. I always have that enabled, you know, so that way, like, uh, my team can have somebody move in, or they can just have a team move in. Allow multiple BFFs. You know, you can have more than one best friend. Uh, my, mine's disabled. I usually forget about that. This is the biggest one right here. Allow most monsters under the bed. I disable that. So that way I don't forget, so that way cause I always forget to use the light and then my kid or toddler, both of them are waking up the entire house and that just, it happened so frequently it started to annoy me. So I disable that so they, I don't have to use the light anymore and they don't have monsters under the bed. <laughs> that was annoying. Okay. And so, like, the cults I don't mess with. I don't play with the cults. Um, let's see. That's pretty much... Okay, MC Clubs. I do use this one. Um, what is it? Monitor club members. Here, I have that enabled. And this will fill up my clubs. Um... <coughs> That are in game that are missing people like you say there's a random townie and there's only one townie in that club um this will run a check and it will fill up uh the clubs with sims oh, open members here okay yeah here's open members is where i put a one and that will leave one spot open in every club so that way they don't just fill up you can put two slots if you want. You know, so that way if there's a club in there that I want my son to join, I know that automatically there would be a spot for her. Um, wherever it says bypass played household, that's in, like, when you mark as, um, like, even if you're not playing with the family, if you have a mark as played, MCC will ignore those families if you have them, if you have that setting uh, enabled. <clears throat> you know, a lot of times I will enable it just because, because like sometimes I'll go on to a sim just to check on them, and then I'll forget to mark them as unplayed, and that way they'll still go on. But you gotta be careful with that because, like, just say if I'm on another sim. The game might do something with her. So, I mean, that's up to you. And um, how you do anything. So, I'll save. I don't worry about that. You know, I just kind of save on my own at random. So, I don't really know too much about that. This I don't know too much about. Um, 
But anyways, that's pretty much everything that I use um, on this mod. I can't really think of anything too much more that I use. Um, this right here is the MC Woohoo that I downloaded with it. Um, here is where you can um, you can have like this is where you can like allow like uh, teen pregnancies. I always usually have mine uh, disabled. Uh, woohoo pregnancies. This is where you can set your risky woohoo percent. Like if you want your sims to have a chance to get pregnant every time that they woohoo. This is where you would set. Um, <coughs> and then. Woohoo. Okay. It's under other settings. This is the other one that I use, is you can use autonomous. Where they will just, you know, go, you know, the woohoo at random. <laughs> um, I don't, I don't know, like, because it doesn't give me the ability to, to set, um, my own time on it, or my own cooldown. So I don't know what they base it off of, and I have, every once in a while, I'll end up with a sin that wants to woohoo with everybody, and I gotta stop them. <laughs> and then other times, they don't use it at all, so it, it's really, really random. <laughs> and then you got the, you got, you got a skill, I have that disabled, because um, that killed my relationships, I didn't even know. Uh, right there. Okay. I don't know why the woohoo skill was going. I don't know if you have to disable that on the start. Just make sure that it's disabled because it will destroy your relationships. I learned my lesson. But anyways, guys. That's pretty much it. So for anybody that does use the MC uh, command setter, I might have missed something or you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, I'll do my best to answer. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to work on a, um, <coughs> a mods video and like show all the mods that I use. I might not go into great depth with them like this just because I'm gonna be showing them, but I will always put links I always try to put, I always try to remember to put links in the description. Um, so that way, if I'm ever using something, you'll know where to find it. But anyways guys, I hope that this was at least relaxing. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you have a good night. Good night guys.